here today to talk about carbon deposits on intake valves, fuel injectors, and fuel distributors. What we'll look at specifically is what causes the deposits, how to diagnose the carbon deposit condition, and what to do about it. Now let's begin by discussing the cause of carbon deposits. The major reason carbon deposits accumulate on intake valves, fuel injectors, and fuel distributors is the lack of sufficient fuel additives and detergents that can control or prevent these deposits. Now these deposits can cause unstable idle, hesitation, even power loss. These deposits form over a period of time. When they occur on the intake valves, they can act as a sponge or a restrictor and effectively lean out or disturb the air-fuel mixture during warm-up. If they occur in the fuel injectors or fuel distributor, they can cause drivability or performance problems under both cold and warm running conditions. Now the likelihood of these deposits occurring can be reduced by using a gasoline that has the proper blend of deposit control additives. Now this has got to be communicated to the customer. If they aren't sure if their gasoline is correct, recommend the use of our gasoline additive. This will help keep their valves and injectors clean. Now you've got to make sure that the car owners understand there's no one-time solution. Once the intake valves and fuel injectors are clean from carbon deposits, the proper additives are still necessary to maintain that clean condition. Otherwise, the process may simply repeat itself. Now you may wonder why carbon deposits are all of a sudden now causing problems when years ago this wasn't the case. Over the past few years, exhaust emission regulations have become more stringent. Now to meet these requirements and still maintain the good engine performance that our cars have, our fuel management systems have been made more precise. Now this extra precision reduces the tolerance for any disturbances in the air-fuel mixture, such as those caused by carbon deposits. These deposits can now more easily cause drivability problems like cold hesitation. You may also be interested in knowing that many other manufacturers are experiencing these problems as well and for the same reasons. Now let's take a look at a car with a customer complaint of hesitation and poor performance when cold. Now this is a common complaint when a car has carbon deposit problems. First, let's check a few basics. Make sure there are no hoses loose or other things which could cause a vacuum leak. Check for loose wires and obvious things which could cause a performance problem. If everything is okay, then check for carbon deposits on the intake valves. Now to check for carbon deposits, we're going to remove a fuel injector and an injector insert to get a good look at the intake valve. Now on four cylinder engines, cylinders number two or cylinder number three would give us the best indication. On a five cylinder engine, we'll check cylinder number two. Now to check for carbon deposits, we're going to remove the injector from cylinder number two and we'll also remove the injector insert. Once the insert's out, we want to check it for any cracks or deformities. Now we can take a flashlight small enough to fit through the insert hole and go down and check for carbon on the top of the intake valve. Make sure that the cylinder you're checking is at top dead center so that the intake valve is closed. Now use the small flashlight to check to see if carbon deposits are causing the problem. If there's any doubt, check the other cylinders. If carbon deposits are evident, advise the customer of this situation. Now it is very important that the customer is aware of what carbon deposits are, what causes them, and what they can do to maintain a clean fuel system and engine. Now a brochure is available to the customer called Ownership Tips Focus on Fuel. 
This brochure explains some facts about the fuel and what the customer should be aware of. In fact, you may want to read it too, as it does contain some pretty interesting information. The brochure advises the customer to use a gasoline which contains the proper blends of additives. If they aren't sure, it advises our customer to use the Audubon gasoline additive, which contains the necessary additive mix to reduce fuel-related carbon deposits. Now, it is important that the customer understands why they should use the proper gasoline or this additive. Now, if there are no carbon deposits, proceed on to cleaning the fuel injectors and fuel distributor. If the carbon deposits are small, such as on this valve, advise the customer to add one large bottle of our Audubon gasoline additive to the fuel the next time they fill their tank. And if they use more than two treatments, make sure they follow the oil change recommendations on the back of the bottle. Now this treatment should remove the small amounts of carbon deposits from the intake valves. Also, recommend that they switch to the proper blend of gasoline additives or use the small bottle of our Audubon gasoline additive on a regular basis. Now, if the carbon deposits are large, the valves will have to be cleaned manually. Now, we can do this by removing the cylinder head or by using a carbon blaster. The carbon blaster uses compressed air and crushed walnut shells to remove carbon deposits from the intake valves and the ports. On four-cylinder engines that are transversely mounted, it's usually faster just to remove the cylinder head and manually clean the intake valves and ports. Now that does it for carbon deposits on intake valves. Now if the injectors or fuel distributor have carbon deposits, it could cause poor spray patterns and more importantly, it will add to performance complaints. Now to correct this condition, the fuel distributor and injectors must be cleaned using this aerosol cleaner that's available through the parts department. Now to use the cleaner, there's an adapter kit which comes with two steel braided lines two threaded plugs, and two threaded cap plugs. Now we also should use two aerosol cans of this cleaner during each treatment. Now, to perform the treatment, substitute the fuel supply from the tank with the cleaner in this aerosol can. An important point is to remember that before you start working on the fuel system, check to assure that no one is smoking, and that there's nothing in the area that could ignite the fuel. Before you begin, make sure that the engine is at operating temperature. Now, to connect the cleaner to the fuel system, first remove the fuel pump relay, or fuel pump fuse, and then disconnect the fuel supply line. We're going to do that here at the fuel distributor. Now, once we've got the line off in its place, we're going to connect this adapter line that comes with the kit. And with that on, tighten the fitting to make sure that it doesn't leak later on. Now, we want to disconnect the fuel return line. On this car, we're going to do it here at the fuel pressure regulator. When we get this bolt off, we're going to put a cap nut on the other end of it. This cap nut comes from the kit also. Tighten that, make sure that doesn't leak later. Now, the last piece is this threaded plug that we're going to put here in the fuel pressure regulator. Because we've got to plug both, both ports of the fuel return line. 
also tighten that so that doesn't leak. Now we can connect our cleaner, our aerosol cleaner, to the adapter line here. And once that's done, make sure we get that good and tight. Now we can start the engine and run it at part throttle. Again, as a review, run the engine at part throttle. Hold the can upright for best results. Now after two cans of the cleaner have run through the system, remove the cleaning kit and reinstall the fuel lines using new washers. And once again, make sure that no one is smoking in the area and that there's nothing around that could ignite the fuel. Now reinstall the fuel pump relay or fuse Start the engine, check for fuel leaks, and recheck your basic engine settings, such as the CO and idle speed. Readjust them if necessary. Well, that completes the job. A couple of things to remember are, if carbon deposits are small, inform the customer of the condition, provide the brochure on fuel tips, and inform the customer of gas additives available. If carbon deposits are large, Remove them from the intake valves and ports. Once again, make sure to point out this problem to the customer so that they are aware of what they can do to prevent carbon deposits. And next, clean the fuel distributor and injectors with the cleaner kit if necessary. And these points should take care of most of your performance problems.